-hmm. Mine was good as well. Wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hi. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm Aisha. And I'm Clarissa. And welcome back to today's lesson. I hope you had a good week. Yes. yes. <laughs> guys, today we are talking about another attribute of God. And can you guess what it is? The goodness of God. The goodness <laughs> of God. But first, let's sit like this and pray together. Father God, you are awesome. You are our Father. And in this day, we want to worship you. We want to lift your name high. We want to exalt you, our King. And Father, we want to learn more about you today. We want to learn about your goodness, your heart for us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. So, guys, are you ready? Because now we are going over to praise and worship. Yes. Yes. That allows you to get a little goodie in the box. 
But, yeah. but there's many goodies inside the box. Okay. You can only choose one goodie. Just one? Just one. Okay. One goodie. Okay. Can you maybe tell me what was the form of attribute that I showed? Well, you showed kindness. Oh, okay. I showed kindness. Kindness and goodness. Oh, yes. Okay, let me pick. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I, which one? Which one? Are I you going think to I need some lip gloss. Okay, so you want to make the lips glow? Okay. Yes. Okay. I like okay. my lips glowing. And you know what, Clarissa? Mm. Just like this goodie box that I had for you with many goodies inside, and you were able to choose one goodie out of the many goodies yes just like this goodie box that i had for you god also has a goodie box for us did you know that no he also has a goodie box for us oh wow and he gives us things on a regular wow god is so good guys so mm -hmm. before we talk about what god the goodies god has for us let's go Clarissa, yes. Are you ready? I am. Do you are you ready to hear about the goodness of God? I am so ready. Yes. You know the story of Joseph. Yes. Joseph had twelve brothers, right? Mm. And and he got a coat, a Technicolor coat. Yes. Yes. But what? Why did he get the coat? Because uh, his dad favored him. Because he was good, right? Yes. Yes. So he got rewarded. He got rewarded. Same yes. like your little goodie box. Yes. <laughs> but after he got the coat, mm -hmm. his 12 brothers were beyond jealous. They were like, he's got such a nice coat. Why didn't we get a coat? Yes. And then what did they do to him? They sold him to Egyptians. That's sad, eh? As, as a slave, yes. They sold him as a slave yes. to Egyptians and he worked hard. Like he was, it was devastating, yes, right? He was. went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Yes. And even though he went through all of those things, can you, can you think of one thing that he always kept close to his heart? Mm -mm. No, I cannot remember. God. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Never mind what he went through. He always had God close to his heart he never lost yes. faith in god yes. and he still continued to do good even though he was being he was a slave yes and god rewarded him for that name can you have to remind me of what the reward was god put him in second in command of egypt just below the pharaoh so he was head of egypt of all the food and everything that came in of the yeah. arm. Imagine, just imagine. A slave. A slave to second in command. command. Like, yes. That can only be God. It, there's, it can only be God. Yes. But then there was a famine happen, happening, right? Yes. And there was shortage of food everywhere. Yes. And what ended up happening? His brothers also came to Egypt. Yes. And when they saw him for the first time, they didn't at first recognize their brother. Yeah. Because he looked different. They didn't expect him to have uh, yeah. be second in charge no, of not the entire all. Egypt. Yeah. And then even though they were so mean to him and did those devastating things to him, he still showed them kindness. Yes. Can you imagine? Yes. Imagine someone sells you mm -hmm. off and now you meet that person again and you're still kind towards that person. That sure. is only God. That can only be God working inside you. And yeah. in that sense, that is how we are every day. We might not be sold as slaves, but so many people are mean to us on a regular basis. Yes. You know, you get gossip, you get... Um, people physically being mean to you. Yes. You get people saying mean things to you. And you know what God says? Even be good and be kind to the people that are the worst to you. Yes. You know what? You know what saying? I love. What? Kill them with kindness. Oh yes. <laughs> we so, do that a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. So even if someone is mean to you, majority of the time, the best 
thing to do is to still be kind yes, to that person absolutely. pray for that person yeah. because when you pray for that person and you still show goodness and do good things to the people that are mean to you you yes. don't gossip like they do no. you don't call them names like like yes. they do god rewards you and a lot of the times in the end the very person that's bullying you becomes your friend yeah that's true that's true and i've experienced that so many times like even if people scream at you you hold your composure you're still nice to them they calm down yes and problem solved yes you can true. talk it out so with being good like that with being uh, still being kind and good to others god rewards you sometimes by mending the relationship or by things in your personal life yes. that he lifts up for you like let's say for example you get a fancy toy oh from yes. your mommy that you've yes. been waiting for for so long yes. just because you showed a little patience yeah like god rewards us every day he gives us goodies every Good single thing. day yes a lot of the times we don't even see it because we're so busy focusing on the mean yeah but god gives us goodies every single day and just like joseph we need to just keep the faith and know that God is always good yeah. and that he always has a plan and he always has goodies for you. Always. Yes. Like always. Yes. So remember guys, God is good. Yes. All the time and all the time, God, God is good. So kids, today's scripture, we read it in Psalms 34 verse 8 and it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, before we are learning the scripture, let's go into the scripture. But how, Because how can we taste God? How can we taste and see God? Now, there's a good explanation for that. Have you ever just dipped your toe into the water to feel if it is hot or cold? To taste it for yourself? And this is basically what the scripture is saying. It says that taste, put it in your mouth, the word of God, put it in your mouth, taste it and see how it will be good for you. You see, God wants us to taste. God wants us to taste. God wants us to experience him so that we can see for ourselves that he is good. Okay, so get up. We are going to learn the scripture right now. It says Psalms, and you remember how we show Psalms. Psalms 34 verse 8. And it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Okay, let's do it one more time. Psalms 34 verse 8. And it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Guys, so it's time for us to say goodbye. Yes. <laughs> but just remember, always do good. Yes. Because God is good. Always. Mm -hmm. Yes. Before we go, what do we usually do? We pray. Yes. Hands together and eyes closed. Father God, you are good. Always God. And we thank you for being good to us. Thank you for giving us breath in our lungs. Thank you for, for us, allowing for us to stand up this morning. And, and Lord, thank you so much that you are with us. Your goodness overflows. And in that, Lord, we say thank you so much. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we? Children of God. And what are we? Blessed. Bye.